Hello guys, this is Bun Chong Go from the Theoretical and Computational Biophysics Group. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform an interactive MDFF calculation. So if you go to the website and you get to download the IMDFF files, so this is what you'll see under the folder. And first, you want to look at the procedure. All right. So this sort of tells you that how the general thing to do. All right. So the first thing to notice that is that the script for interactive MDFF is almost the same as the script for a standard MDFF calculation. So let's look at the configuration file. So you can see that it's a kind of a standard script. One thing to notice is that the G scale, which is the coupling between the atomic model with the density map, is set to be 0.5. It's kind of big. And in real MDFF simulation, we recommend you to use 0.3. Okay, so the key difference between an IMDFF script with a standard MDFF script is this four line. All right, so you just add it in, it will sort of establish a connection between MD and VMD, and that sort of allows you to interact with your MDFF calculation. All right, so to do it, we just go to the place that we want and we'll just tell the script. We'll just tell the computer where the MD file is and then we run as if we are running a standard MDFF calculation. So you notice that you gotta notice that there's no file coming out now, only the log file, because the simulation is not running yet until there's a connection to establish. So let's open up the VMD session. And then again, always go to the folder. That's where you find all the files. So load it up very quickly, and then we will be able to see. We'll be able to see that this is the protein. It's a kinase, very small protein, and this is the target density map that you want to fit it in. Okay. So let's run the show. So to establish connections, you go to extension, simulation, IMD connect. You want to connect it. So previously we set so it's local host. The port previously was set to be three thousand. Of course, if you like one two three four, that's also fine with me. So what you see here. that the simulation is already running yeah. and now you really get to interact with the molecule okay so this is really an MDFF calculation in real time so to interact with it you can use with the mouse and apply a force by residue so what we're going to do is that because it's at this stage, it's kind of obvious that which should go where. So we just point to a residue and then drag a force to it. So you really, really quickly go into the directions that we're heading, that we ask him to go into. All right. So let me save for this one. So go in there. Right. To cancel the force, you just have to double click it. Yep, and you see it's gone. Double click it. Now track it down. Yep, and see it's gone. This is also the same. So you must always keep track such that you won't apply too much force and then distort the structure. That's not what you want. 
just want to tell the computer where to go. I'm going to stop the force. I'm double clicking it. Okay, it's all gone. All the forces are gone. And you can see that it's much different from previously. Also, quickly we want to move it. So I move it in quickly. Yeah, we don't want those forces anymore. Okay. And then. Yeah. And in no time we get to see that the fitting is already almost done. Of course um I'm just illustrating it to you. In real MDFF calculation, you want to do it slowly and carefully. But why interactive MDFF is is useful then, other than to, other than for demonstration, for demonstrative purposes, is that sometimes when the the molecule is a bit more complicated, the the, the computer doesn't quite know where to go, and that's when you want to assist them and try to pull it to the correct direction. All right, so it's like done already. So we've done this, stop the simulation, and it's already stopped. And you'll find all the files, the trajectory file, the log file, the restart files, just like any standard NMD simulations. So this is interactive MDFF, and I hope you enjoy it. You try it out. Signing off.